understaffed and struggling to keep up with the pandemic. 4 News Now is your coronavirus headquarters. Healthcare workers and scientists have been sounding the alarm. The Delta variant is a game changer and it's shaking up hospitals. We want to show you the numbers. Tonight, more than 1,500 people hospitalized in Washington with COVID-19. 188 of those are so sick they're on ventilators. At the Confluence Hospital in Wenatchee, they're seeing more than 30 people a day with severe symptoms. The majority are unvaccinated. Esther Bauer is here to break down the healthcare system's struggles. New at six, what's at stake as the pandemic rages on. I'm live at Deaconess tonight, which is just one of the hospitals full of COVID patients. Health experts are calling this the fifth wave. They knew it was coming, but didn't think it'd be this dangerous or this deadly. This is enormous stress on the healthcare system to have this many patients with a single diagnosis. This doesn't happen. What many thought wouldn't happen is COVID cases continue to climb, people are dying, and hospitals are struggling to keep up. We're on the, on the edge of not being able to properly care for people in our community. The Delta variant is racing through Washington. Until we get enough of us vaccinated, this virus will continue to mutate as these RNA respiratory viruses do. It will continue to circle back through our community and continue to infect susceptible population. Those ending up severely sick in the hospital are mostly unvaccinated. Doctors want everyone to realize this pandemic is far from over. The public perception of where we are does not match what's happening in hospitals where people are coming in very ill um, and staying, having extended stays and even dying. And these doctors say they're extremely concerned about the state fair coming up and other outdoor events. They say at this time, our health care system simply cannot handle another super spreader event. Reporting live in Spokane tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.